everybody, I'm Debbie Allison and this is Crazy Felix and you're watching Paula McClay by Deck. Hi everybody, welcome back to Polymer Play by Deb. I'm Deb, and this is my co-host, Crazy Felix. The little puppy that we did in another tutorial was so popular, I've had so many more requests to do more puppies. So today we're going to do these, this poodle here. And here is one in gray, one in white, and we're going to be doing the gray one. And I've also had some requests for the Pug and the German Shepherd, but they're just uh, way too time-consuming and would be too long to make a video. So we're going to do the Poodle today. Alright, so now I'm going to go over all of the different clays and tools that you're going to be needing to do this little Poodle project. Um, I have rolled out a lot of little balls of clay here, and normally when I'm doing a project like this, I roll out the clay as I need it, but I wanted to just show you how many different balls that it's going to take to do this one project. So here I have the large ball of clay, and this will be the body, and this is going to be the little, um, I guess, the little puff around his chest. And then these are going to be his four arms. These are for the pom-poms on his paws. These represent his little paws. This is his tail. This will be his head and his muzzle and the little palm on top of his head. And this here is his ears. Then we need a piece of pink for his collar. And this is pink rolled out to a setting of six for the bows. Then we'll also need a straight edge and an X-Acto knife. I have some little rhinestone hearts here which we will use on his color. I have four millimeter balls that or beads that I will be using for the eyes. This is a toothpick that um, I, I showed you in another uh, quick tips on how to do this toothpick. Wire for the body, some wire cutters, a needle tool, and a tile to bake it on. And I guess that's it. And I think Felix is, is ready to get started here. Right, Felix? Alright, so to begin we're going to start with his body and I'm going to take the largest piece of clay that I rolled out and I'm going to shape it sort of like a pear and I'm going to stand it up on my tile and put the piece of wire in it and this just helps support the head and helps it stand as well while you're working on it and I'll just cut it off leave enough for his head all right then we're going to take another piece of clay that I had rolled out and make the little palm around his chest and I'm rolling it out in sort of like a cigar shape and then I'm going to press it down so it's somewhat flat and I'm using my fingers just to press it down. We don't want to use a pasta roller because we don't want it to be perfectly flat. All right, and then I'm going to pick it up and wrap it around this piece here. And bring it to the front. This is the front of his chest. And press it. Now what we'll need to do is texturize it so that it looks like um, curly little hair. And for this I'm going to use the technique that I showed you in another video using my toothpick and this is somewhat time consuming you just start poking little holes in it with your toothpick and you keep doing it all the way around until it's finished alright I guess that about does it now I'll take these two balls of clay and roll them out into a cigar shape as well these are going to be his back paws and I'm going to shape them like he's sitting and we do two of those and press them into his back end and there you can see how it looks on the back now 
normally I wouldn't cut these, but I'm going to cut these so that I can put the pom-poms on here. And I'm taking these two pieces of clay. Oh, and there goes the phone. I guess we're going to have to break here. All right, so we're back. I apologize for that interruption. We have left the phone off the hook now. Now I'm taking these round balls of clay, and I'm going to put them right pressed up against the part that I cut off. And these will represent the little pom-poms on the dog's uh, feet. And I'm going to make the hair curly again like I did before with the toothpick. All right. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take two of the smaller little pieces of clay for his petite little paws and press them to the front of these. Then I will take my needle tool and make the little like claw marks. There we have the little claw marks. And then I'm going to do his four paws. And I have two balls of clay rolled out here. And I'm going to, going to roll these kind of in a cigar shape with one end smaller than the other. And I'll roll both of those out. I'm doing it kind of slow because if I do it too fast, it becomes blurry in the video. All right. Those are similar in size. So now I'm going to press these onto the side here. These will be the four paws. And you can see it's shaping up nicely. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before where I cut part of this off to put the little pom-poms on the feet. And I've got two balls of clay already rolled out and I'll put these right on the bottom like I did before with the back paws. And I'll take my teeth pick and do this again with the hair. And this is probably the most time-consuming part of making this whole puppy. So that looks good. Now I'll repeat what I did before. As far as the paws go, take two little balls of clay and make the front paws. Just push them on. And take my needle, needle tool again and make the claws. Now we're ready for the head. I had take my next largest ball of clay that's rolled out and it's just round. And I just leave it round and place it on top of that wire. And the next thing I do is the muzzle. And I have a piece of clay ready here. Now it started out as a round piece of clay and I am making it kind of in a pyramid shape. And then I'll press it on the front for the nose or the muzzle. Okay. And then I'll take my little piece of black and put that right here for the nose. Now I take the needle tool and I make a little kind of like mouth by bringing this down and that makes his mouth. And now we're ready for his eyes. And I'm going to use my four millimeter beads Put them on the end of the needle tool, and just right above his muzzle, I'll push him in and pull down. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye. And pull down, and then I'm going to press up here a little bit, and you can see it kind of reshaped his head. That one needs to go in a little more. And press here above his eyes, and that gives him a little more personality. And then use my needle tool again for the eyebrows. 
and you can see pretty cute so far. Next thing will be the ears and I'm going to just kind of push him aside a little bit and work on his ears. I've got two balls of clay and I'm going to roll these out in kind of a pyramid shape again and you want them fairly even and I'll press them flat into an ear shape and take my trusty corn dog stick which is one of my favorite tools and start making some hair and I just take it and sort of texturize it to make it look like hair on the ear and I do it to both of them and then we'll pick it up and place them on the head and a poodle's ears are kind of forward coming forward so you want to put them on top and kind of face them forward and then we'll do his head or the pom-pom on his head which is another ball of clay which I will just roll out and kind of shape it into almost like a little hat by pressing my thumb in here and place it on top and I need to probably spread it out a little more you want it to kind of cover up the top of the ears all right and that looks good so now I'll take my toothpick again and work on making this pom-pom alright that looks uh, good enough now we'll do his tail and I've got a little ball of clay here that I'm just going to roll into a snake shape and cut a little bit of it off you know, poodles have kind of a short little tail and put it in the back here and bend it up and then I'll take my round piece of clay, another round piece of clay, and just put it on the top here. And the reason I'm a, kind of attaching it to his body here is just to give it a little more stability so that the tail doesn't just break off and I make more curly hair. Alright, the tail's finished. Now we can work on the collar. And I'll just take this round piece of clay that's pink and roll it out into a snake shape and it needs to be pretty thin if you wanted you could flatten it out but I'm just going to leave it as a round kind of collar more like a necklace since this is a fancy poodle and I'm going to drape it around his neck like this and because it's more like a necklace, I'm just going to make it into a little V shape. And take my little heart rhinestone. And put it right. Press it right in. And I'm going to bake it with that little heart rhinestone on it. And then we'll cut the excess off the back here. And now we're ready for the bows. Okay, so we'll take this uh, pink that I've rolled out to a setting of six and my straight edge and we're just going to cut some strips here for the bow or bows. We're going to put two bows on it. I think that's too thick. Do a little thinner. And I have showed you how I do bows in another quick tip but I will show you again so now you just fold that strip up and make a loop and cut and do it again and cut and now we'll just hold it together and pinch it in the center and that makes one loop for bow and press it on and repeat it for the other side and press that one on 
Now I'll make sure it's pressed on with either a needle tool or something and just kind of press press it to make sure it's in there pretty pretty well and it'll stay on. And then I make just a little a little piece here and put this over the center so it will look like the knot of your bow. And you can just use a toothpick to press that on to make your knot. And then now I'm going to repeat it for the other side. Okay, now I have my second bow. You could just put one bow if you wanted. You could change the color of the bows. You can also make your poodle in different colors. Now this one, um, you'll notice that the hair is a little different and I actually used a garlic press to make this one. But the poodle is completed. You can see, now if you wanted to, you could put a hook in it, like I did here, and a ribbon. You could also, this is, it represents a little trophy cup where I'm going to put the name on it. You could put a dog bone, or you could even put a little scroll like this for to put a name. Or you could just leave it like it is. So now that it's finished, all you need to do is put them in the oven at uh, about 250 degrees and bake it for approximately 20-30 minutes, and that's all there is to it. Well, that concludes our tutorial for today. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like a chance to win the little poodle that we just made, you need to like, favorite, and subscribe. And like our Facebook page as well, and you'll have two chances to win. So, all the links that you need are at the bottom of the video. And until next time, I'm Deb, Crazy Felix. Say bye. We'll see you later. Bye now. And you also need to like our Facebook page at Deb and Co forward slash, whoops, <laughs> second chance to win. So be sure to do that. And in the meantime, all the links you need are just at the bottom of the video. So we'll see you later.